I'm Arjan, I'm from the Netherlands and I've created a little harbor scene inspired by an American New England Northern Canadian uh, style and it actually should be larger but there was a uh, well a request from the organization to scale down your uh, mock because everybody could have a place then so I uh, just took uh, took half of it with me and uh, it uh, it all begin with some uh, some small ships, and then I added added the buildings, and from one thing came another and another and another. So <laughs> it just grew uh, from there. Yes, yes. And well, I uh, this is the latest addition. This the the two fishing vessels that I've built, shrimping boats actually, and it, it's it's all modeled after uh, a, a train layout. This place, so it's uh, it's it H O skill inspiration, and uh, well, I just had to. Uh, put it into a Lego form mm -hmm. and uh, well yeah, I like uh, I, I like building boats and ships so uh, usually only standalone ships but since uh, since last year I started building a layout kind of some scenery and stuff to go yes, with it yes and I really enjoy creating buildings actually so uh, I just uh, well building big ships just put it aside for a <laughs> while and start building uh, yeah buildings and make a layout of it so uh, Exactly. So if you can talk about these ships here and kind of the technique you use there, because I really like the way those are designed. Yeah, well, they're just uh, snotted, so uh, the, the bricks are going uh, left and right, and uh, there's one midsection that's two two studs, two, two yeah, two bricks wide, and then the rest of the hull is just uh, snot technique on left and right side. So mm -hmm. that's actually how I usually build all my ships. Look at that studs so out on top, sideways building. There's, there's actually another an underwater ship as well. So I can make it a display model or just put it in a layout, but I can remove the underwater ship. So uh, yeah, it could be used both ways. I thought that that was a nice feature. That's also the case with that little tugboat over there. And uh, well, I put that one on idea. So if you like to vote, uh, <laughs> just shamelessly promoting myself no, here. Definitely, yeah, that's a great build. So it's uh, definitely check that out on ideas. So talk about the kind of the rigging here on the ships as well. So you've got a lot going on the nets and stuff there. Yeah, the nets is a non-Lego part. I uh, found out that there was a florist uh, near my uh, na in, in my neighbor neighborhood who sell uh, yeah creational stuff to uh, to enhance the the bunch of flowers you give to your wife. And I found out that it was quite useful to create nets. So it's it's a, actually a non-Lego part, as are the ropes uh, and uh, and all the LEDs I installed. That's uh, that's non-Lego. But um, yeah, the, the LEDs look really great, though. That's nice lighting, especially on like the sign on the building and yeah, stuff and on the boats. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's something I enjoy doing. It gives more life to a scenery, I think. And uh, well, that uh, I always make them myself because if I buy them complete from Brickstaff or whatever uh, company, they're a lot more expensive yeah. to get. So I think this costed me about 20 euros all the lights inside. So <laughs> that was not so. Uh, that was really affordable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are there interiors on the buildings here and no, stuff? No, the building is as empty as a shell company on the Cayman Islands. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no, there's no interior. I have two more buildings planned to add, and I want to build interiors for those. So uh, that's uh, that's going to be the case. But this one's just completely empty inside. Another thing that stands out here is that very nice tree in the back. So talk about kind of what technique you use for that. Well, it's actually my first tree I built. Oh, wow. and <laughs> it's quite fragile. <laughs> So I have to. Uh, I've built it, rebuilt it twice. Once uh, when I got here, but um, well, if you if you bump into the table, it will probably fall over. So I have to f to improve that technique for building ships or boats, uh, trees in this case. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, it's the first one. I intend to build more trees when the layout grows. So I will get better at that, I think, as well. But for now, it's yeah, it's quite well. I'm quite satisfied with how it looks uh, actually. Yeah, definitely. And when you build these types of boats here as well are they generally fairly strong where they hold together pretty well when you move them around uh yeah well that depends on the size of the ship well i think these are uh, not that fragile but if you want to move them around you got to hold them well firmly otherwise they'll probably fall uh, fall apart but it's uh, it's the case with most of my builds it's built with uh, connection with one stud and then maybe two and uh, so it's uh, yeah it's not not that strong, but it's well. It's transportable. It survived a trip in a car here, so it's yeah. well. It, for that, it's strong enough, but you can't play with it. Okay. Well, there you go. I think the whole layout turned out great. It's too bad you couldn't bring the rest of it, but I think this whole portion turned out very impressive. So thanks for talking to me about it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks.